My name is Ben Mills from East Coast Yacht Sales and in this video I'm going to be talking about just how easy it is to dock a Targa 32 by yourself. So let's go ahead and get to the dock. So as we're making our final approach into the dock, uh, my helm position right now is in sort of comfortable underway mode. We've just come in from an offshore run so this is a really comfortable driving position while underway for a long period of time. But since I'm getting into a docking mode, I like to be standing. So what I do is I'll put the helm position further forward. My kick plate for my fleet that I've been um, using is I'll push that forward and then I'll slide this chair a little bit back. And this gets me into a really nice standing position. Um, I'll just turn the wheel just like this a little bit. Now that I'm in my standing position and I know where I want to go, I'm going to go ahead and get the fenders and dock lines ready to go. So Targa has these uh, fender holders on the transom here, which makes it pretty convenient to get these ready to rock. I like to do one fender just right here, tied on to this cleat. And then I'll do another fender just up here on this cleat. And then I'll do one more midship as well. And because you've got these nice full walk around side decks, it's easy to put out fenders and dock lines. I feel nice, safe, and secure. All right, now I'm gonna work on dock lines. Dock lines I just have right here. Again, as we're in this idle phase right now, I can see right through the windshield, so I can see exactly where I'm drifting off to right now. So really, I know exactly how much time I have to put everything out. So three dock lines for now. What I like to do, since I'm going to be docking on the starboard side, I'll have my stern line actually on the outboard cleat. Get it wrapped around just aft of the flag here and just get it set up right here, just so I can easily grab it from the dock. Spring right here. Again, this doesn't really take very long just because it's easy to get up to the bow and get this done. And then I'll bring the bow line just aft to midship here. Take all the time that I need to get situated. All right, so then I'll head back into the helm. Then I'll put us on a joystick docking mode. So this particular boat has a dual um, IPS DPI stern drives. And so we have the optional joystick uh, controls as well, which makes life extremely easy. So what we'll do here is we're just going to back in to the slip where we want to go. And because it's so intuitive, this joystick, whether you're using your left hand or your right hand to get into where you want to go. And, you know, because you have so much control, you have a tendency to want to do things quickly. But you just let the boat drift. Let the boat drift in the direction that you want it to go in. And just do little bumps. You know, with these diesel engines, it doesn't take much to affect change on the boat. Because you can move so much water when you're moving in gear, you have dual counter-rotating propellers. And my sight lines are great. With the aft door opened up, I can see my swim platform. I can see I've got great sight lines just going alongside here so I know exactly where my boat's at. This is a long dock here so I'm just going to start backing up into my slip. I can back up parallel without touching the dock for, for pretty much ever. I think what I'll do is I'll probably just grab this spring cleat here. And again, with the wide, wide side decks, it's easy to do. And then I'll slow us down, just like this. We'll come to a nice stop. So now that we've come to a stop, what I'll do is hop off the transom here. And just grab my stern line and tie off the transom of the boat. Now we won't be going anywhere. I hope you found this docking video educational. If you have any questions for us, do feel free to reach out using the information below this video.